Hello everybody, my name is Jeff the Bone Gamer and welcome back to another video. This time it's a reaction video. We are going to react to another death battle that just came out today. It's going to be Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake. That is Tomb Raider versus Uncharted. I never played Uncharted before, but I've seen the game plays and trailer of it. But I did play two Raider games before. Well not all of not the new ones. I did play the old ones when I was a little kid. I really, I do, I really have found those games. So, I don't know. I have to go with Tomb Raider. I have to vote for Tomb Raider to win. So, yeah. Anyways. Let's stop talking and watch the video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, let's stop talking and watch the video. Ah. Uh. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Go90, the free digital entertainment service featuring TV shows, original series, esports, concerts, live sports, and like behind the scenes bit, access to some I of your favorite musical like artists. So Watch Go90 free on your phone, tablet, laptop, or cast your TV. Tiny Visit Go90.com or download the app on your iOS or Android device today and be sure to check out Rooster Teeth's new original series, What Do You Know, exclusively you know? on Go90. Rooster Teeth. I want to see. I watch Ruby, by the way. That's new. Well, Sometimes an archaeologist thinks a bit more than a shovel of brush, stuff going especially on. when they're on the hunt for the most Indiana legendary Jones. of treasure. Yeah, if it were that easy, everyone would be doing it. The best treasure hunters are the ones with the brawn to match their, their brain. Like Lara Croft, the Tomb Raider. And Nathan Drake, seeker of the Uncharted. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death battle. Oh, animation. Most we people spend new. their entire that's lives in pursuit of wealth, animation. status, and power. But Lara Croft was lucky enough to be born into this is them. So However, new. despite God. attending the best schools and living in her own mansion, 14. she was missing one that's next crucial week. thing. Adventure. Oh, I don't think it's next Man, week. rich people are always looking for some crazy way to help keep themselves entertained. Week. But if you have a lot of money and you take a lot of trips, it's good odds that one of those so, yeah. trips is bound to go horribly wrong. And guess what? It did! Before oh. she was even old enough to order a drink, a crash landing left her stranded in desolation. She had to learn for herself how to adapt and survive for over a week before returning to civilization as a whole new lady. In whatever Tomb Raider timeline you're looking at, That's whether it's on one. island or the Himalayas, ones. Lara's destined to this life-changing well, fate. I'm never getting on a plane with her. Surprisingly, Lara's experience left her far from tra traumatized. Instead, she was inspired, hooked by the thrill of perilous adventure. So she struck out on her own, seeking lost treasure across the globe to make a name for herself. But Lara's no fool, so first she made sure she'd be ready for anything. She tracked down the best teachers she could find to learn her the ways of stealth, survival, and martial arts. She became proficient in numerous types of firearms, and her martial art of choice appears very reminiscent to kickboxing. She can even fight while blindfolded. So she's basically Batman, who treasure hunts with guns! <laughs> Speaking of which, Lara is famous for her trademark dual Heckler and Koch pistols. Mean, and I'm not mean, talking mean, about mean, the things mean. under her sweater. But she's also skilled with shotguns, assault rifles, submachine guns, <laughs> even grenades. And she uses them to take down everything from anime. armed thugs to T-Rexes. So Lara is also skilled with a competition battle. compound bow, perfect for stealth kills. And she's got enough trick arrows to make Green Arrow proud. She's got fire arrows, poison arrows, explosive tipped arrows, and even rope arrows for crossing gaps or grappling things. And while her climbing axe is supposed to be used for scaling up cliffs, you can imagine what the thing does to a human skull. Oh wait, you don't have to! Watch! Uh, Lovely. Gruesome mur murder aside, Lara's extensive training paid off in big ways. She's discovered the legendary blade Excalibur, the Philosopher's Stone, the Ark of the Covenant, Thor's hammer Mjolnir, and even Bigfoot, whom she also promptly killed. Suck it, Sasquatch. She survived dinosaurs, the Kraken, a Chinese dragon, and she even found the long-lost Led Zeppelin song, Stairway to Heaven. What? No, 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 she found a literal stairway to heaven. Really? Holy shit! For a 132-pound wow. woman, she's surprisingly strong. 
she's held up a heavy gate for 36 straight seconds while drowning. She also regularly pushes around enormous boulders, like the giant blocks in the Pyramid of Giza. This makes her easily Ooh, strong enough to, say, punch a man a through a wooden beam. Lara's also a crack shot. She can precisely tag multiple targets in less than a second, even if they're button-sized bolts or kunai flying through the air. She's skilled enough to infiltrate and escape Area 51. She's tenacious enough to take a bullet in the heat of battle and keep fighting. And she's tough enough to dive off a 250-foot cliff into water with no injury whatsoever. The highest documented dive ever recorded is 193 feet. But unlike Lara, this driver underwent weeks of preparation and still broke his collarbone. Hell, this girl can survive almost anything. When she was younger, she got impaled by a rusty metal spike and was still able to complete an entire adventure while in constant pain. She wasn't even able to properly treat it. She had to cauterize it with a burning arrow tip. Damn, that's hardcore. I think I found my next ex-wife. And then there was that one time she threw her climbing axe at a helicopter and it just... It just exploded. Yeah, the only logical explanation being she threw the axe into the chopper's air intake, shredded its internals, which caused a spark that reached its gas tank. She made the helicopter explode with nothing but an axe. That girl's got one hell of an arm. I think we can all agree Lara is a badass, but she thinks so too, and can get a bit reckless. If she gets too full of it, she can always find herself at the wrong end of a tree branch, crushed by boulders, mauled by wolves, shot in the head, stabbed through the face, all sorts oh of horrific fatal mistakes. Even knowing that the risk doesn't keep her from any of her bewildering adventures. No! Don't you think you've seen enough? <laughs> Sick. Harvest Magna. To most funny. people, these words hold little meaning, but for globetrotting explorer Nathan Drake, it's his life motto. Greatness from small beginnings. And beginnings don't get much smaller than his. Little Nate spent half he his childhood clowns. in a boy's home, where he was raised by nuns, picked <laughs> on by bullies, and pretty much just hated on for every second right. of his life. Nathan oh. found solace in his fascination with history, particularly the explorer who found El Dorado, Sir Francis Drake. And like his idol, Nathan dreamed of one day escaping the orphanage to go on treasure hunts of his own. And he did, with his big brother Sam. The treasure? They're dead mom's old journals uh, about Mr. Drake himself. Turns out they oh, were in I some old lady's house, so they this. broke in, she called the cops, and then immediately died of a heart attack. Obviously not wanting to be caught trespassing and standing uh, over oh, a dead woman good. when the police arrived, Nathan so began a life before. on the run. Talk about shitty luck. Man, all he wanted was a book. Fortunately, Nathan seemed born for the treasure hunter's life. He's exceptionally athletic. Athletic, has encyclopedic historical knowledge, and can find a way out of almost any bad situation with his quick wit. He'd make sure that everyone would remember the name, Nathan Drake. After several solo adventures, Nathan eventually teamed up with Victor Sullivan, a former Navy officer turned expert con artist. Sully taught Nathan the ways of combat, both with his fists and with firearms. Good thing, too, because it seems like everybody out there wants to take a shot at Nate. He almost always has a 45 Defender or 9mm pistol on hand, as well as a couple grenades. Nate can rack up the body count with just about any weapon he touches, including machine guns, shotguns, grenade launchers, and sniper rifles. Hey, when there's a literal army of bad guys out to kill you, you gotta become a one-man army yourself. Ready for anything, Nathan set out to follow in his idol's footsteps, and then some. He's discovered five lost civilizations, stopped multiple world-ending threats, and even unlocked the secret of El Dorado like Sir Francis Drake before him. Yeah, turns out it's not a city of gold, just a dead guy that turns people into zombies. Didn't see that one coming. Anyway, Nate wouldn't have done any of those things if he weren't physically fit for the job. He's strong enough to move boulders twice his size and hold up a four-ton gate for four seconds. He can climb huge cliffs with nothing but his fingertips. The Tomb Raider did this. Tips, and constantly that jumps humongous gaps seconds, without needing a running start. The, the standing broad jump world record is 12 feet and 3 inches. In this instance, Nathan Drake was able to make a 19 foot jump from a standstill. 19 feet! And he's always clearing similar jumps throughout his adventures. Nate's got hops, but he's also got an iron hide. The dude is 